Hello and thanks for joining us from our studios in Tel Aviv. I'm Natasha Kirchak here with ILTV's morning briefing from Israel. Border policewoman Hadar Cohen will be laid to rest this afternoon at the military cemetery in Yehud. The 19-year-old corporal was murdered yesterday during a terror attack at the Damascus Gate in Jerusalem's Old City. A second policewoman was seriously wounded in the attack and remains in the hospital. Police forces at the scene of the attack managed to shoot and kill the three terrorists who attacked the women with automatic weapons and knives. The assailants were also armed with pipe bombs, and police officials say that they were apparently planning a larger attack on Israeli civilians. The Israeli police are being lauded for their heroism, which prevented a larger tragedy. The Israeli Prime Minister has ordered a crackdown on the West Bank village Kabatia, which is the hometown of the three terrorists who carried out yesterday's terror attack in Jerusalem. The army has imposed a semi-closure on the town, allowing humanitarian goods into the village but placing restrictions on the movement of residents. Security forces made several arrests in Kabatia overnight, and the army is reinforcing troop deployment. The IDF engineer and corps are already preparing to demolish the homes of the three terrorists. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas met with the family members of 11 terrorists who carried out attacks during the current wave of violence and the meeting came just hours after yesterday's terror attack in Jerusalem. Abbas invited the relatives of the so-called martyred sons to his headquarters in Ramallah. All the families are related to terrorists that were killed by security forces while carrying out terror attacks against Israeli targets. The families are reportedly calling on Abbas to demand Israel to release their bodies for burial. The Palestinian leader reportedly told his guests that their sons are martyrs and says he will intervene to relieve their pain. It looks like even more Hamas tunnels have collapsed in the Gaza Strip. The latest collapse took place on Wednesday night in Zaytun and Rafa. Hamas forces have reportedly blocked off the areas around both collapses. The tunnels are used for cross-border terror attacks or movement of contraband into Israel and Egypt. Recent collapses have resulted in the deaths of a number of Hamas operatives. And the frequency of the collapses has led to speculation of Israeli or Egyptian involvement. For now, Israel is refusing to comment on whether the country is involved in causing tunnels to collapse. That's all for now. I'm Natasha Kirchuk, and see you later with our main daily broadcast from Israel at 2 p.m. Eastern Time.